дорогі українці, українки, сьогодні... Dear Ukrainians, the day of September 6th was difficult. As of now, over 30 people have been wounded in Kostantinivka, Donetsk region, after the attack by Russian terrorists. 16 people have been killed. My condolences to all who lost their loved ones. All services were working at the scene, clearing the rubble and rescuing people. I am grateful to everyone in the world who condemned this latest manifestation of Russian evil and supports Ukraine, our people. And it is very important that the response to Russian terror was even greater consolidation of the world. Every manifestation of such consolidation really helps save lives. On September 6th in Ukraine in Kiev, there were several important international events, visits of partners. Denmark Prime Minister Meta Frederiksen, the United States Secretary of State Blinken, the first ladies and gentlemen of the partner states who participated in this year's summit, and this is the third summit of first ladies and gentlemen, dedicated to the extremely important and sensitive topic of how we are going through this war, how our hearts and souls are experiencing the war, therefore how to overcome the pain of war, mental health, the mental resilience of people, it is something that requires work just as much as any other manifestation of our resilience. On September 6th, I also addressed the leaders of the summit of the Three Seas Initiative, a large region that is one of the sources of European strength, the Baltic Sea, the Black Sea and the Adriatic Sea, all the countries in our part of Europe. The summit took place in Romania. I called on all our partners, our neighbors, to continue to preserve unity in Europe. We have new defense agreements, new political and humanitarian agreements. We are also preparing new international communications to make this week more active from the perspective of our foreign policy work, so that our soldiers, all our people, feel more strengthened. I thank everyone who helps and will help. Thank you to all whose strength is Ukrainian. Glory to Ukraine!